Hello, this is Rich Parson, Manager of Ag Financial Strategies, which is Manager of Fund CWL. Let's take a look at the stock market. We're looking to look at super cycles. And basically in the 1930s, there was a 216-year super cycle bottom with the Great Depression. We can see it then comes into a 36-year cycle during the 1970s. And then it actually rolls up into a 72-year cycle bottom for the Great Recession of 2008 and 2009. The super cycle trend is now up into the 2030s to no later than 2042 for 36, 72, and 216 year cycle tops. So this is the 216 year cycle trend up until that time. It's basically a 100 year bull market. So be cautious of these people always talking of a 100 year bear market right now. I don't think they know what they're talking about. I don't think they understand the true cyclical structure of the market, the economy, our lives. Therefore, they can't time the stock market. At any rate, this is the uptrend. Okay, now there's also cyclical tops. And we can see there's a major long-term nine-year cycle top just before that drop, the crash of the Great Recession. And it's going to run that nine-year cycle top up until later this decade. Around 2016 to 2018, I think, will be the top. But it could delay to around 2020. We might see a 10, 20, and possibly 30% correction out of that top later this decade. And then the 2020s, we're still going to see record high prices, then a nine-year cycle pullback. And then we're going to the 2030s to 2042 we're going to see again record high prices so it's a ratcheting process higher of long-term three-year and nine-year cycles as well as the intra-year intra-month intra-week intra-day cycles and they're all tucking inside of the super cycles that are now all clearly up into the 2030s to 2042 at least for this decade Consider being bullish stocks into around sometime 2016 to 2018. Maybe it can stay up as late as 2020, but I'm targeting 2016 to 2018. Thank you.